you know, I believe it was, I believe it was Sir, the, the late great Sir Lawrence Olivier who said, Kay, you pick depressing movies. Uh, Short Term 12. Mm -hmm. Brie Larson, Rami Malek, and... Greg, somebody. Uh, Kevin, the front Kevin front. Hernandez, I feel like I've heard that. Uh, Caitlin, <coughs> Caitlin Deaver, that you might know from Last Man Standing. Yep. She's a troubled teen. They're all troubled teens. This is a very... This is going to be the only joke or quote-unquote joke that I'm going to make during this entire review. You shouldn't. Short Term 12 is Mumblecore's adaptation of Sucker Punch for the DC Extended Universe. And if you know what that means, eh. Uh, do you, you clearly don't know what Sucker Punch is, do you? <sighs> Whatever. I never thought I'd say this. Sucker Punch is more pop. Sucker Punch is more option, in my opinion. Grand Journey of South by South. The movie is um, serious. Look at very dark, sadly, all too common issues in society. And that's mainly 90% of this movie. Okay, you did say, like, it's great because there are people out there that need to see I movies like this. I said it like was this. a good movie that people need to see. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, there was a movie called Amour, which is a two-plus-hour-long movie about an old, uh, an old husband taking care of his old wife as she's going through dementia for over oh. two hours. Now that also happened. Now there are also old people that die every day. But still, that doesn't mean it's a that doesn't mean it's a movie. And I don't know I don't Okay, you you talk about it now. Okay. So Brie Larson and this John Gallagher are more than just friends. They're co-workers and they live together. Um, Physically. He was in foster care and she had a, a very bad... Um, I didn't really care about her being uh, there for the kids that really came is the trouble came yeah. right up. and it kind of he finally and he's he's like okay when to her mind what's going on what happened to her um, in her past when her mom died and her father raped her and then she was pregnant and everything and then he was fortunate to have um, whom he calls mom and dad mom and pop or something um, that took in a whole bunch of kids and raise them. Can I say a... Go ahead. Quick, I'm just going to say a quick joke. I'm going to say a quick joke every now and then to lighten the mood. I'll never forget what Sarah Michelle Geller once said to me. She said, why are you wearing my clothing? Continue. Nobody said that at all. Okay, it's so, a joke. Keep going. So Brie Larson um, told this girl that she used to be... Jaden. A cutter, you know. Um, more like a stabber because those look like stab wounds on her ankles. Well, if you scrape enough with the sharp, 
Don't sharp Please nail. Do. You know, you can get blood. Permanently. And, They're like um, permanent. They look like burn. They look like welts. So the people that lived, the, the kids that lived in here, um, short term 12, that's how they answered the phone. Short term 12 is usually the kids are there for 12 months or less. I thought that was just the name of the company. Mm-hmm. It would be like if you. It would be like if you called a uh, replace Donald. Yeah. Okay. A bad example, but okay, you couldn't do that. But you called it like Bobby Rockets or something. I don't know. So you really only learned about certain kids. The other kids just kind of did what they were told and everything. Mm -hmm. Nobody could close their door, especially the cutters. And um, there was this one boy. That I think you he, could close your door. You just couldn't lock your door, I think. It had to be open a crack, at least. Um, there was one boy that tragically lost his sister, and he had all of his sister's dowels. Oh, okay, that's the one you're talking about. I thought you were talking about... Um, I thought you were talking about um, the kid who was... He was leaving soon, so they yeah. threw, I'll get to gave him. him red velvet cupcakes. I'll get to him. And, um, so the therapist said that he needed to grow up, so he needed to accept that his sister was not with them anymore, and took away all of his dolls, which were his sister's dolls, and that's the only way that he connected. Um, so he had a very hard time, um... Then there was another guy that was turning 18, so he was being aged out. Um, he, I don't think he really wanted to leave. I think he was very scared um, how his mom treated him. Um, I think his dad left when he was very young or was killed. And well, and one other thing with Bree, what had come up after she got pregnant, after she became pregnant with her boyfriend. Um, her father was getting out of prison within a Brie week. Larson's or yeah. the or Jaden's? No, Brie Larson's. Okay. Jaden's father, he was not in jail. He just always had to watch her, had to be there, had to see what she was doing. You know, it was just kind of freaky, yucky. But anyway. And then the one guy that wanted to get out, he did get out. He did get a job. He was working, I forget where they said he was working, the movie theater or something. I don't know. And he actually was at a coffee shop having a date. No, he was uh, at a coffee, sh he worked at a coffee shop or something. I don't know, I don't remember. So he had a hard time. And then this other kid kept bugging him about how he, he swung at the wiffle ball, how, you know, just everything and... His fish died. Somebody killed his fish. And, you know, these, these kids don't have much to begin with. And... What did... Oh, uh, why did the lettuce blush? It saw the salad dressing. Keep going. What? Okay. I can't say that joke! Well, there's not too much more. Well, um, did you... Well... Oh, well... You can talk about the ending if you want. Brie Larson found out that... Who was it? Jaden? Yes. Her dad picked her up. She hated the name Jaden because it's a boy's name, She didn't I guess. like Jay. No, she didn't like Jade. Jade. Whatever. And Brie was like... She went into the supervisor and said, Why did you let her go? Didn't you read my report? And he said... I read your report, but the dad came up. He said he was sorry. He missed her birthday and all of this. So she went over there. She knew where the key was under the mat at the back door. You're not going to say how she got there? She rode her bike. When she was upset, she always rode her bike. Did and she have a car in this movie? He did. The boyfriend okay. did. I think she named her bike something. I can't remember. Yeah, she it. did. Harold or something. Okay. I don't know. And um, so she made some noise in the living room when she got there. The lights weren't on. And she grabbed the baseball bat. She was going to beat the father with the baseball bat. And then Jaden's like, what are you doing? And she, she says, like, come here, come here. So what they did is they took out their anger on the car. Car, yeah. 
I think it was a Mercedes or something gold. They took their anger out on that, and boy, woo, that was going to do some damage. I would have also punctured the tires, but whatever. Yeah, like Carrie Underwood, yeah. And so then she she, she told her see. nothing would change unless you record it. So she was in the office and she was recording it. So that was a good thing. Take the letters down in her room that were medical. And she, it was her brother too, and there was her father. For so Why she speaks, but it's me. It's not, it's my my fault, or I'm wrong, or something, or yeah, I'm yeah. She wrote a bad. story. No, no, she she did in her hand. She was oh. she was cutting her hand. It's like I'm sorry, or I'm not sorry, or I'm I don't remember. And they weren't supposed to swear. <laughs> and so then um, Bree's boyfriend, he went into the one guy that had turned eighteen. And he seemed to do rap. And Oh, um, God, his story. His story was, wow, it was really dark. And he told the guy, he says, um, Bree's boyfriend said, yeah, I want to hear it. And he goes, well, there's a lot of swearing. <laughs> and he goes, that guy. Oh, my God. What happened to him when he was growing up was really bad. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about the end, his, the conclusion of him. He was fine. He got out. Of he the was... hospital? Yeah. Okay. He survived. Did he... you want to say how he got in or no? No, don't need okay. to. This, mo this is depressing enough. But you know what? It, it did have some funny spots. And the, the therapists went through a lot as kids. So they knew right away what they went through and they could share. And, you know... I think everybody was a little bit better being there. It was a safe space for them. So it's one of those movies that you either like or you don't like. It's not a movie that I'll watch again. I'm glad that I did see it. It did win some awards. It did say. Yeah, um, it's, it's one like a it's one like a lot of it's picked independent awards and stuff. Fresh Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, so did Mix Cut Off. Truly Motion Picture Award. Winner SXSW, I don't know. What South that by is. Southwest. Oh, a it. pitch perfect feel good film. I've got, I've got words to describe this movie, but feel good isn't one of them. Well, it ended on a happy note. And the the living gag was her boyfriend <laughs> pooping his pants. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's how it, that's how it starts. It starts Don't with like eat a, the enchiladas or tacos. There it starts with something. like a four minute story of him talking about how he how he uh, he was he pooped following his pants. he was following a kid. They could not touch them physically. They could not touch them once they left the grounds mm -hmm. of this place. So they could walk with them, talk with them, and everything, but they could not touch them. And that kid actually did come back to tell everybody this story. Oh, my God. It was too funny. Anyway, I've got things to do, so you don't ever want to see it again? No. We'll probably donate it. Let somebody else get it. Join us next time when... Oh, I'm sorry. I was just looking up. Anyway, join us next time when we look at... When we go into space. Bye. Bye. Trying to think what's a what's like a joke I could say. I can't think of anything. Bye.